Hey guys, it's Shana here with Bear Creek Arsenal. Today I'm going to give you everything you need to know about our newest rifle caliber, 8.6 Blackout. 8.6 Blackout is a really new caliber. It was developed in 2022 by Kevin Brittingham and the team at Q, the same team behind the popular 300 Blackout. This round takes many of the concepts that made the 300 Blackout successful and pushes them further. Think about the 8.6 Blackout as 300 Blackout's big brother. Both of these calibers seek to optimize performance for suppressors and short barrels, but 8.6 Blackout takes it up a notch. For example, it uses the AR-10 platform instead of the AR-15 platform. It also shoots 200 to 350 grain bullets compared to 300 Blackout's typical 125 to 225 grain bullets. The big difference between 8.6 Blackout and pretty much any other caliber on the market right now is its rotational energy. In order to shoot subsonic, the bullet has to travel below the sound barrier of 1,125 feet per second. In the past, that has greatly limited the stopping power and long-range capabilities of subsonic cartridges. But with the 8.6 Blackout lacks in velocity, it makes up for in rotational energy. It uses a blazing fast 1 in 3 twist rate to generate up to 500,000 RPM spin rates. And you can see the results from the ballistics gel footage provided by our friends at Gorilla Ammunition. In supersonic loads, the 8.6 Blackout pushes lighter bullets at around 2,200 feet per second. At 400 yards, which is probably about how far you'd want to push it, it has 993 foot-pounds of energy and drops about 53 inches. While it won't win any long-range contests compared to rounds like the 308 Winchester or 6.5 Creedmoor, it excels in shorter barrel setups, where those rounds typically lose effectiveness. Speaking of shorter barrels, let's try out Bear Creek Arsenal's 7.5-inch pistol, shall we? This is their first AR-10 pistol, and it comes with this handy pistol brace. We also have a 10.5 and 12.5 inch version. We'll start out with subsonic ammo and no suppressor. See if you can tell the difference when we shoot suppressed later. All right, so what are some pros and cons of 8.6 Blackout? Well, first of all, it's a versatile cartridge. You can shoot a wide range of bullet weights and both subsonic and supersonic ammo performs well. It also offers excellent performance in short barrels. 12 and a half inch barrels have been used to take down large game like Cape Buffalo. Shorter barrels typically mean lighter guns as well, which most hunters will greatly appreciate. And finally, its subsonic capabilities really make it stand out. What it lacks in velocity, it makes up in rotational energy, which allows it to retain velocity and energy better than most subsonic rounds. Just add a suppressor and you've got a phenomenal setup for hunting or self-defense. Now for the cons. First of all, despite it being in the AR-10 platform, it's not really a long-range caliber. While it's excellent in short and medium-range engagements, the 8.6 Blackout's bullet drop becomes more pronounced at longer distances, especially with subsonic loads. 300 to 400 yards is about as far as I'd recommend shooting it out. And the second con is the higher cost and lower ammo availability than other calibers. Since it's a fairly new caliber, 8.6 Blackout ammo is much more expensive and harder to find than more established cartridges. Due to its fast spin rate, the 8.6 Blackout projectile has to be made of solid copper, also increasing the cost. You'll typically find ammo ranging from $2 to $4 a round, so don't be too trigger happy. Uppers, pistols, and rifles aren't cheap either because only a few companies produce the caliber. But a few months ago, Bear Creek Arsenal started offering 8.6 Blackout and did what we always do, offer a high quality product at the best possible price. You can pick up a rifle or a pistol for under $800 and a complete upper for less than $400. If you already own an AR-10 lower, just buy the upper and you can experience this great caliber for yourself. Be careful with the pistol uppers though. You can't add those to an AR-10 rifle lower and use the stock since that will create an SBR. Just be sure to review your local laws and regulations to ensure full compliance. Well, that's about all I have to talk about. But how about we do a bit more shooting with the 16 inch rifle?
I mean, guys, I'm done talking, but I'd really like to put the suppressor on the seven and a half we shot earlier. Let's do it. That's pretty awesome. If you want to get your own 8.6 Blackout for an affordable price, check out BearCreekArsenal.com. And if you like this type of content, be sure to like this video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.